Hey guys, today we're checking out Fargo from 1996. Let's get to it. Okay, we're watching Fargo, winner of a Patreon poll. And I was really happy to see it win. The only other Coen Brothers movie I've done is The Big Lebowski, and I loved it, loved it, loved it. May or may not have smoked a little weed and had a good time. All right, here we go. This is a true story. The events depicted took place in Minnesota in 1987. The story has been told exactly as it occurred. I feel like I'm gonna like this one a lot. I really love The Big Lebowski. I know it's, I've heard it's nothing like that, but still, I think I'm gonna like it. Cool music. Like, Fiddle, and then what else? Steve Buscemi. Okay. Ooh, got bells. This is some music. Look at this snow. I'm watching this in the wrong season. Minnesota, right up near Canada. This is the kind of winters we get. Fargo. Fargo, North Dakota. All right, so Fargo is a city. I didn't know. All right. Something's gonna go down in Fargo. I'm uh, Jerry Lundegaard. Shep said you'd be here at 7.30. What gives? Shep said 8.30. He's peed three times already. <laughs> I'm sure sorry. It was a mix-up, I guess. I'm sure sorry. Got the car. Brand new burnt umber Sierra. I'm Carl Showalter. This is my associate, Gare Grimsrud. We all set on this thing then? Why wouldn't we be? What are we doing here? Every confidence here in you fellas. Yeah, he looks real confident. Here are the keys. No, that's not it, Jerry. Huh? Ha. Ah. <laughs> $40,000. The car first, like as if it was the ransom. Shep didn't tell Rant? Much. It's not a whole pay in advance deal. I give you a brand new vehicle. I'm not going to debate you, but what Shep told us didn't make a whole lot of sense. What's going on here, fellas? You want your own wife kidnapped. Uh, this guy? <gasps> what? That's unexpected. You pay the ransom, and you give us half the ransom, 40000 you keep half. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's not me paying the ransom. My wife, she's wealthy. I'm in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? Yeah, what the heck is Jerry into? Now her dad. Why don't you just ask him for the money? Or your f***ing wife? Yeah. They don't know I need it. He wants him to kidnap his wife? Hi, hon. Welcome back. <gasps> this lady? What the heck is Jerry up to? Dad's here. He's right, into something shady because he can't tell the family. Is he staying for supper then? Are you staying for supper? Yeah. <laughs> Their accents are very amusing. They sound close to Canadian. Back at 9.30. Okay. It's okay, McDonald. <laughs> Wade, have you had a chance to think about those 40 acres there in Wyzetta? I understand it's a lot of money. What did you say we're going to put there? Parking lot. 750000 is a lot. What is he trying to pull here? This could work out real good for me and Gene and Scotty. Gene and Scotty never have to worry. What about him? Huh. All right. Jerry is into sp For sure. He's gonna get these jabronis to kidnap her for ransom. Okay. We stop at pancakes, us. Steak, maybe. Not more f pancakes. Oh, breakfast for dinner is the best. I'm with this guy. Can get laid. I'm f hungry now, you know. For pancakes. Stop, get pancakes, and then we'll get laid, all right? Yeah, pancakes and booty. Road trip. Jerry Lundegaard. I here and said I didn't want any true coat. You don't get it. You get oxidation problems. It'll cost you a heck of a lot more. You sat there and darned if you didn't tell me you'd get darned if these options. And, 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 and here you are and you're wasting my time. I'm paying 19 dollars for this vehicle here. I'll talk to my boss. There's nothing we can do, but I'll, I'll talk to my boss. Shifty car salesman. It's always the same. Mm-hmm. I like our duck sweater. You going to the Gophers on Sunday? Oh, you betcha. Oh, you betcha. He never done this before. He says I can knock a hundred dollars off that true coat. Oh, he's a swindler. You're a bald-faced liar. Where's my goddamn checkbook? Let's get this over with. He's gonna pay for it. I'm a Paul Bunyan. Oh. Well, what are you gonna do after pancakes? Not even in two separate rooms, just doing it in the same room. Sheesh. And then watch a late night cable. I am talking about your potential. <laughs> sure, ma. We don't want you going out for hockey. It's just an hour. Of... Hold on. Oh, hi, Dad. <laughs> hi. Yeah. Hi. I am amused by these accents. Woo. Stan Grossman looked at your proposal. He says it's pretty sweet. Oh, no kidding. I no kidding. Pretty quick there in order to close. Maybe he doesn't have to do the ransom. Yeah. Well, okay. 
The accent is reminding me of Bobby's world, Bobby's mom. Oh, gee, golly, don't you know? You know those two fellas you put me in touch with up there in Fargo? Uh, Carl something. Never heard of him. See this deal? I may not need it anymore. Yeah, cancel it. ransom. Nope. Okay. Next for nothing, ship. What does he need the money for? Just that he wanted to do this deal? Secondhand smoke is uh, Carson and the <laughs> tallest skyscraper in the Midwest. You never been to Minneapolis? Nope. Would it kill you to say something? I did. Yeah. That's a fountain of conversation, man. I mean, whoa, Daddy, stand back, man. Keep our spirits up, fight the boredom of the road. Nothing. I don't have to talk either, man. Yeah, right. Who could play at that game, smart guy? Yeah, I don't think so. Total silence. <laughs> Old Jer. Uh, these financing documents. The loans are in place. I already got the. Uh, Three hundred twenty thousand. The vehicles that you're borrowing on. I yeah, but the deal's already done. I already got the money. Did he, did he fake it? I have to know that these vehicles that they really exist. So no, I doubt it. Me, so yeah, but. Just do the all. Why don't I just fax you over a copy? That's what I have, and I I can't read. Fax that right over. No, no, to no, no. Fax. I mean, send. Okay, real good. Okay. Jerry, he is doing some shady business. We just want to That's like the exact TV we used to have. <laughs> Katie, I gotta admit. What? Kidnappers? Well, how do you uh, there was an egg in here, right? Yeah. Hide. You don't have an empty chicken somewhere. Run, lady. This was an honest to goodness. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Gwen. What? I hope they don't hit her with that crowbar. Lock the door. Lock it. Oh, shoot. Oh, frig. Go, 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 lady. <laughs> These guys are kind of bumbling. I don't know if they're going to be able to do this. Did she go out the window or is she like in the shower? What's he looking for? Pills? Oh. Oh, no. <gasps> Lady! I feel like she was her own worst enemy there. Did she knock herself out? Well... How you doing? Dude, your, your wife got kidnapped. Jerry. Well, it's a pretty... Uh... What kind of finder's fee are you looking for? The financials are pretty thorough, so... My fee? For bringing it to us. I was bringing you this deal for you to loan me the money. It's my deal here. Oh man, they're just gonna take it out from under him. Bringing us an investment. And we put in all the money and you collect when it pays off. Oh dear. I'd pay you back the principal and interest. We're not a bank, Jerry. No, no. See, I... <laughs> no, no. Dare. Jerry, we're not going to just give you 750000 I, I... He's so screwed. I guarantee you your money back. I don't want to cut you out of the loop, but this here's a good deal. Yeah, they're going to take it. You won't mind if we move on it independently. They should just take the finder's fee then, I guess. Take the fee, Jer. Oh, this, like, oboe? Clarinet? What you gonna do, Jer? And he doesn't even know about his wife. Yikes. Getting out to scrape. Been there. <laughs> yeah, frig. Yeah, nothing worked out. Is it he worried about his wife? I mean, he doesn't know, but like, I guess maybe he didn't know when it was gonna happen. Han? Han? <laughs> Now you done it, Jerry. It's Jerry. I. It's Jean. Jean. I. I didn't remember her name. Jean. I don't know what to do. It's Jean. Wait. I. It's Jerry. I, Is he practicing? Oh, jeez. It's terrible. <gasps> what a sociopath. Wait, wait Gustafson, please. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. Oh, the Palm Onion statue. Like, what was the plan, though, for the ransom? I like this music. All right, well, she's alive still. Shut the f up. Jeez, that's more than I've heard you say all week. Ah, sh It's the popo. I never put my tags on the car. Dang it. Hey, don't worry, I'll take care he's of it. He's wearing gloves, so I should have known he's up to some shady business. Although it is winter, so I guess everyone's wearing gloves. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, that girl should just start screaming. All right, just, just keep it still back there, lady, or else we're gonna have to, to shoot you. Oh, oh, no. Hey, I'll take care of this. 
Ooh, I'm feeling tense. Done. Done. Is she gonna scream? This is this a new card answer? New card answer. You're required to display temporary tags. Can I see your license and registration, please? I mean, why isn't the girl screaming right now? Yeah, I was uh, gonna tape up those uh, the tags. Mm, she's scared, yeah, but my mind. this is your only shot, girl. What's this, sir? And a, and a 20 poking out? I was just thinking we could take care of it right here. Put that back in your pocket, please. In your pocket, please? Oh my god, I love his accent so much. I'm so sorry, I'm going to do this accent. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Oh, ew. Oh, well, now she should just shut up. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, just shut up now, because he's dead. Well, frig. Oh. Yeah, well, the blood. You'll take care of it. You are smooth, smooth, you know. Oh, daddy. Whoa, daddy. Just clear him off the road. Like, to where? Well, like his car and everything, they're like, what are they gonna do? I'm trying to think like a criminal, like, all right, I don't want to ever be in this situation, but I, they should probably put him in the trunk now. But I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if they find the body. They should drive away now, maybe, because they're gonna see the car. They're screwed. <laughs> yeah, just go now. Get, get the hell out of there. I mean, I guess I want them to get caught. They're the bad guys. I don't know. <laughs> They're just letting these guys see them. <laughs> now they're gonna have to kill those guys too. <gasps> is he? Is he really? Is he gonna go kill those guys? Oh frig! <laughs> well, that's my worst nightmare. Accidentally see something you're not supposed to see, and then get chased out the highway alone at night. Oh my god! Oh, cool music. Very tense. Where'd they go? Maybe they turned their lights off. Oh my god. Gotta watch that black ice in the winter. Oh god, no. Oh boy, he's gonna he's just gonna shoot him. This guy's not even sweating it, he's just like There's there's someone in there too, right? Oh man, oh man. Well, that went about as bad as it could go. Worried for the wife now. Clearly they don't care about killing people. I was wondering if they were the kind of criminals that were like, we can't hurt or we feel bad, but like, nah. Mm -mm. Hi, it's March. March. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, they're not Jeff. I'm gonna need to start saying that. Okay, there, the chip. I'll fix you some eggs. Aw. You gotta eat a breakfast, Marge. Oh, honey, you can sleep. I'll fix you some eggs, hon. <gasps> I'll fix you some eggs. Oh, that's nice. Love you, Margie. Is she pregnant? Yeah, hon. Hi. What'd you forget, Marge? All right, we got a we got a pregnant lady cop march. I like it. Oh, that's like my exact Ooh, winter jacket. You got there? <laughs> oh. Thanks a bunch. Oh my god, she's so bunch? cute. It's cold, Margie. Oh, take her easy there, Marge. Yeah, triple homicide. Whew. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. So, here's the second one. I guess that's a defensive wound. Oh yeah. So we got a trooper pull someone over. These folks drive by, ends here, and then this execution type deal. Marge is on it. She's good. Yeah. Yeah. From his Thanks, foot, Marge. Looks like a big fella. She got those Her cop instincts. Think I'm gonna barf? <laughs> it's just morning sickness. Yeah. Now I'm hungry again. Did you have breakfast yet, Margie? More made some eggs. Yeah. Let's go take a look at that trooper. Oof. There's different footprints here, Lou. So we got two guys, Lou. Oh, yeah. He looks like a nice enough guy. <sighs> I guess the little guy sat in there waiting for his buddy to come back. Did you look in his citation book? Oh, right. Don't they have to write the plates? 
tan Sierra at 2.18 a.m. We put DLR. So I got the state looking for a Sierra with a tag starting DLR. Not sure I agree with you 100% on your police work there, Lou. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. The vehicle there probably had dealer plates. Oh. Oh, Marge, you're right. Jeez. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> well, I like Marge a lot. They said no cops. Did they actually get in touch with him or no? Like, what's the plan? I give these sons of bitches a million dollars. Where's my guarantee? I, think this thing I don't think this guy can pull this off. You're just whistling Dixie here. He is whistling Dixie. No cops. Gina's my wife here. Wait, I'm leaning to Jerry's viewpoint here. Oh. We're not holding any cards here, Wade. So they call us shots. You're darn tootin'. Uh, darn tootin'. And I'm thinking we should offer him a half a million. No yeah, way, don't way, negotiate. No way. Just bite the bullet on this thing. Yeah. I'm supposed to have the money ready tomorrow. Damn it. How was everything today? Real good now. <laughs> we'll get the money together. Do you want anyone at home with you till they call? You know, they said no one listening in. I'm worried about this kidnapping. Chair, I don't think you can pull this off. Is Scotty gonna be all right? Jeez, Scotty. We well, yeah, hadn't considered that. Or I guess we already know he's a sociopath, so. Poor kid. How you doing there, Scotty? Not great. What are they doing? They're not gonna wanna hurt her any. Well, what if something goes wrong? Nothing's going wrong. This kid is smart. I really think we should call the cops here. No one can know about this thing. We're gonna get mom back for you. Poor kid. That's, that's the deal here. You just say mom's down in Florida. It's got the kid lying. Bum, bum, bum. These are the kidnappers? Yeah, show me what they're up to. So they, they've got Jean, she's alive. Like, did they make a plan with it? They must have made a plan with him beforehand. We'll, we'll kidnap her, and then you get the money, and, and but then what? Where do they exchange? Jean. Oh. <laughs> Jean. Oh, they're just laughing. <laughs> she's just gonna run into something. <laughs> Poor Gene! Uh, he's dying. Hiya, hon. What are those night crawlers? Yeah. What, what is that, donuts? Thanks for lunch. Oh, oh it's Arby's? worms. <laughs> okay, I thought it was something delicious. They're good, Norm, but you're better than them. You think so? <laughs> How's the painting going? Not too bad, you know. So he's just a painter. That's cute. Two men checked into the Blue Ox, registering a Sierra. Jeez, that's a good lead. Mm. Going out there on I-35. Marge is good. She might be able to crack this. Said these two had company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we both did. She went to college, too. Yeah, that's where we met. Oh, that's the girls they were boning? So where are you girls from? Go Bears. Go Bears. <laughs> Fellas look like. Yeah, Marge, let's go. I don't know, just funny looking. He wasn't circumcised. <laughs> so, we're having sex with a little fella then. Uh-huh. What about the that? funny looking one. You know, you look like the Marlboro man. Oh, yeah? Because he smoked a lot of Marlboros. Hey, they said they were going to the Twin Cities. Yeah, is that useful to you? Oh, you betcha. You betcha, don't you know? Marge is going to correct this, I think. I'm team Marge. Come on. If it doesn't work, bang on it. Ooh. Look at those pants. Those look warm. <laughs> is he going to lose it? Ooh, that's cold. The bark beetle carries the worm <laughs> to its nest. Ugh. Marge, what are you watching? Just watching that nature channel. I'm turning in, Norm. Here it is, throwing off the larval envelope. <laughs> Marge needs her sleep. She's pregnant. I suppose she's a cat. Margie Olmstead? This is Mike Yanagita! Mike Yanagita? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I hope I didn't wake you. I'm down in the Twin Cities. I saw you on the news there. Well, like from high school? Well, how the heck are you? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's been such a long time. What does he want? <laughs> Alarm. Radar. This true coat stuff? I don't need no sealant, though. <clears throat> yeah, you don't need that. But it comes with it. Yeah, okay. Is the kidnapping gonna throw him off here? All right, Jerry, you got the phone? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's How's go. that Sierra working out for you? Things have changed. Yeah, they shot a cap. Sure. What the? How's Jean? Who's Jean? My wife. She, 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 she's all right, but blood has been shed, Jerry. Blood has been shed, Jerry. Three people in Brainerd. We need more money. Oh, he can't get more money. 
for sure he can't. More this was money. supposed to be a no rough stuff type. I'm not gonna debate you. Jerry's so dumb. We now want the entire 80,000. We've incurred risks, Jerry. I'm coming to the town tomorrow. A deal's a deal. Is it, Jerry? See you tomorrow. Oh, Jer. Oh, Jer. Sir, I've not received those vehicle IDs. Those are in the mail. By tomorrow afternoon, I will have to refer this matter to our legal department. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, these things are not going well for Jer. All right, all right. Keep keep your calm here, Jer. Gotta get Jean back. Chicken fricassee. Marge loading up at the buffet. They're a cute little couple. Calls made from the lobby payphone. Two to Minneapolis that night. Private residence, uh, Shep Proudfoot. That's oh, Shep. Uh huh. She gonna solve it? Marge is real good. I think I'll take a drive down there then. Twin Cities. <laughs> and it's got to be delivered by me alone. I'll deliver it. Oh God. You feel this this nervousness? I do. These guys are dangerous. Jerry, I don't want you mucking this up. Yeah, he's giving off that vibe for sure. Otherwise, I'm going to a professional. No, see. Look, Jerry, no, no. It's no. My show here. It's the way we'd prefer to handle it, Jerry. What are you gonna do with that, Jer? Hi, <laughs> Gunderson. I have a reservation. Marge Gunderson. I love it. Hey, is there a phone down here, you think? Detective Cybert? Thought I'd check in with you about that USFI cert. Would you happen to know a good place for lunch? She's hungry. Madison. Is it reasonable? <laughs> Marge. Gotta load the hump. Is this the handoff? Oh, I feel like it's not gonna go well. Jair's involved. It's not going well. Oh, smart. Hi. Yeah, I decided not to park here. Well, what do you mean? Just came in. I decided not to park here. So. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. We still got to charge you the four dollars. <laughs> I just pulled in here. See, there's there's a minimum charge. Just pay the four dollars. I guess you think you're, uh, you know, like an authority figure. <laughs> Hope he doesn't shoot him. Four dollars, you pathetic piece of shit. <laughs> oh. Brutal. Talking to a cop. Do you remember getting a call Wednesday night? Nope. It's just hard for me to believe you don't remember anyone calling. Associating <laughs> with criminal would be a violation of your parole. Oh, he's gonna give him up. I don't think he cares about Jer one bit. Oh, Jer. Is she gonna go and see Jer? Mr. Oh, Lundigar? Marge! Do you mind if I sit down? She's on him. She's so good! My name's Marge Gunderson. My father-in-law. He's the owner. Is she gonna smell the lies? And I was just wondering if you'd had any new vehicle stolen. Oh, dude, looks so suspicious. Mr. Lundegaard. <laughs> so, he's acting real suspicious. Nope. No, ma'am. He thanks a bunch. I'll let you get back to your paperwork then. Oh, Marge knows. I think she knows. She's super smart. Maybe not. What you gonna do, Jire? Yeah, uh, give me Shep. No, I, I I don't need a mechanic. I, I need a... Uh, to talk to the guy about the kidnapping. Have him... Um, oh, boy, Jer. Oh, oh, Marge. Looking lovely. Is she meeting the guy that called her in the middle of the night? Marge? <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! Oh, you're great. I'm expecting Oh, you. I see that. Oh, this is a nice place. Yeah. So... Oh, you went and married Narm, son of a Gunderson. <laughs> son of a Gunderson. Well, what about you, Mike? Are you married? You mind if I sit over here? Uh, I was married. No, why don't you sit over there? I prefer that. Yeah, Marge, I don't like this. What's this guy trying hey. to pull? What the heck was that? Just so I can see, you don't have to turn my neck. Oh, sure, sure. I, I understand. Oh, sure, sure. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was married to Linda Cooksey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it didn't work out. Uh, Linda. Uh, had leukemia. She, oh. she passed away. She fought real hard, Mark. Aww. I always liked you. I always liked you. I always Mark. liked you so much. Yeah, what's he doing? She's married and pregnant, sir. Uh, should we get together another time, you think? No. I'm sorry. I, I thought we'd have a really terrific time. You were such a super lady. <laughs> I've been so lonely. Oh, uh, poor Mike. It's okay, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, marriage, you gotta go with her. Everything will be all right. Let's find each other tonight. So, just in town on business. Where'd they pick these girls up? Just a little of the old in and out. Oh, champagne. I didn't even notice. Champagne. Every movie, even Fargo. <laughs> that girl. How long you work for the escort service? Well, where are you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's Shub. 
the water, you little f Let's go. Stay away from me, man. Don't you dare fucking hit me! Oh, Frig, oh, Frig, is he gonna kill him? Uh, uh, f you. Ah! Alright, alright, ship is mid. Yeah. All right, Jerry. I got the All right, money, Jerry. But, uh, Dayton Radisson Park, you can have top level. I find you, Jerry, and I shoot you, and I shoot your f***ing wife. Got it! Okay, real good, then. Okay, real good, uh. Oh, he's gonna go. Shoot, Jerry! This is not the plane. Oh, these sounds. Where are you going? I want to get Gene. Here's your damn money. <laughs> Where's my daughter? They practice him. Goddamn. Well, this ought to be good. I have no idea how this is gonna go down. Maybe Marge is gonna show up right in the middle. Uh, you're not Jerry. Is he gonna tell him what Jerry did, though? Who the f are you? Drop that fing briefcase. He's just gonna shoot him, I think. No, Gene. No money. Oh, this dude's getting shot. Oh, shoot. No, 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 Frig. He has a gun, too, though, right? Oh! Oh, ew! <laughs> I think we got him. That reminds me of Fight Club. Don't shoot yourself in the penis, man. Took the money. Shot the guy. Chair. This is getting out of hand now. And marriage is gonna know this is related. May I have your ticket, please? Over the fing <laughs> Jer, 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 Jer. Well, you better get out of there, Jer. Like Pranto. Shut up. Is he gonna take the body? He shot the guy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Jer. Everyone's getting shot. What now? This dude has the money, though. Maybe he'll drop the girl off. I, I don't think so. Because he's pissed at Jerry now, too, so... And there's no reason for him to drive back into town. Yeah, no, I don't think okay. she's going back. He's going to have to go Are get her. Okay? Are you calling Stan? I'm going to bed now. So many people have been shot in this. I'm just thinking the cop, two guys on the side of the road, toll booth guy, dad, the guy in the face. Mr. Mora? He says, so where can a guy find some action? He says, woman action. And he says, but I'm going crazy out there at the lake. Says, last guy thought he's a jerk. He's dead now. And I says, well, that don't sound like too good a deal. This is every rural Canadian. White Bear Lake? Yeah, well, at Eklund and Swedlin, that's closer to Moose Lake. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. End of story. Well, what this guy look like? Little guy, kind of funny looking. Thanks for calling her in. Sure. Looks like she's going to turn cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Stucks and stucks. If I was him, I would just drive now. Pay someone to sew up his face. Don't show me. Uh. Rig. Yeah, he needs to stitch that up. Pronto. His hands are so red. With blood. Why wouldn't he just drive away with it? That's not deep enough, man. That snow's gonna melt. <sighs> Desolate. Oh, yeah, so you can find it again. Yeah, good luck. It's gotta get some painkillers. Valerie, I'm leaving this morning. Back up to Brainerd. But you think he's all right? I saw him last night and his wife dying. His wife? Linda Cooksey. But he was bothering Linda for about over a good year. Do you lie? He never. <gasps> oh. Mike's had psychiatric problems. She's Marge. Good thing she didn't stay. Linda's fine. You should call her. That's a surprise. Yeah. Even Marge didn't see it coming. Hello? <laughs> Got those square burgers. They don't cut corners. Is this for the guy that he's trying to fill out the numbers for so he won't be able to read them still? All right, Marge, can you solve this? I know she can. Mr. Lundegaard. Sorry to bother you again. Uh, kind of busy here. I understand. I'll keep it real He's short. He's not a like good I liar. Can... We haven't had any vehicles go missing. Are you sure? The perpetrators would drive dealer plates, and they called someone no. who works here. Have you done any kind of inventory recently? I would know. I'm the executive sales manager. Just say you're going to check, man. Daily, or what kind of a routine? I answered your question. Oh. 
Now don't get rude with Marge. I'm cooperating here. Oh, he's being so shifty. You have no call to get snippy with me. I'm just doing my job. And there's no- we're doing all we can. Mm-hmm. Marge is on to him. I'd be surprised if she wasn't. Could I talk to Mr. Gesterson? I'll do a damn lot, Count. You're darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. Sorry, sir. Ah, oh, what the Christ. Now, Marge, that was odd behavior, don't you think? Just waiting for her to, like, put it all together somehow. Oh, no, you He's don't. He's playing the interview. Press uh, nine. But something's come up. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Is he really into the drama? No doubt about it, I'm gonna have your baby. <laughs> it did go well. You should see the other guy. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. Fuck on her. Uh, she started shrieking, you know. Well, I got the money. Did he kill her? All 80 grand. That's 40 for you, 40 for me. That's all he's giving him? I'm taking a Sierra. We split that. How the f do you split a fing car, you dumb? <laughs> yeah. He's gather for half. You fing notice this? Yeah, that's true. I got fing shot in the face. You know, I've been listening to your fing bullshit all week. Just I'll go, be man. Square. Yeah, you fing <laughs> mute. Oh! <gasps> This guy says she was kidnapped last Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Gustafson's accountant. Yeah. Oh, I'm almost back. I'm taking a drive around Moose Lake. She gonna find the cabin? It's over the wire. It's everywhere. They'll find them. Cabin. There's a car. There's a car. Tan Sierra. Tan Sierra. She found them. Cars. Oh, Margie, be careful. Oh, I don't like Margie going in there by herself. Oh, Margie. Oh, I don't want her to get killed. Marge, Marge, you get your gun out. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh boy. Oh, oh crap. Oh boy. Oh crap. Okay. She better not die. I don't want her to die. Yeah, get your gun out, Marge. Let's go. I'm nervous. <gasps> Ew! Is it a wood chipper? No. Oh, the body's. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Brig. Well, she should just shoot him. Marge, you're all by yourself. Marge. That is so gross. Oh, wait. Oh, the leg. Oh. Shoot him, Marge. Marge. She caught him. Marge, be careful. He probably still has a gun on him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Tell me Marge is okay. Did she get him? She got him, she got him. Oh, Marge. Ooh, Ooh she's good. Ooh. So that was Mrs. Lundegaard on the floor in there. And I guess that was your accomplice in the wood chipper. Mm-hmm. Those three people in Brainerd. For a little bit of money. There's more to life than a little money, you know. Yeah, Marge, you tell him. Don't you know that? And it's a beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> Marge is so disappointed. I just don't understand it. Poor Margie. That's a tough job. What happened to what's his face? Jerry. Outside of Bismarck, North Dakota. Mr. Anderson? Who? <laughs> just a sack. Trying to make a getaway. <laughs> Jer, Jer, give it up. It's over. Ah, Norm. It's been a long few days. Poor man, she's all pregnant. <sighs> she gotta take some mat leave now. They announced it. Yeah. The winning paintings? You're Mallard? Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> too nice. Thick. Good job, Norm. People don't much use the three cent. Whenever they raise the postage, people need the little stamps. When they're yeah. stuck with a bunch of the old ones. It's terrific. They're cute. You know, we're doing pretty good. I love you, Margie. Mm. They're adorable. Two more months. The end? The end. 
Okay guys, well that was Fargo and I loved it. That was so good. I loved so many things about it. Even though it was like violent and, and bloody and gross, it was so good. I think what I liked most was the characters. All of the characters were given little interesting quirks and things about them that felt really um, real. It's super well written. The story is really tight. I really like how it was set in Minnesota, North Dakota, the north there. It reminded me a lot of Canada in the winter. Rural towns with like small town folks. I think they were they were poking fun at it a little bit, making fun of the accent a little bit. It was a little exaggerated but in a fun way. I feel like these guys have a soft spot for like that part of the country and the kind-hearted good people that generally live there. I felt like a, like a, a warmth for that setting um, which was really cool to see it then like juxtaposed with like the harsh crime. I like these stories where things like spiral out of control and, and just get worse and worse and worse and worse. I think my favorite part was Marge and the accent for sure. Sorry about the constant accent. I can't not do it. I had a, a very fun time with that accent. Bon chano. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I would watch this one again. It was really funny, really dark. I think I really like the Coen brothers. So I definitely want to watch some more of their movies. Leave me some suggestions of some more Coen brothers movies I should check out because Big Lebowski I loved. This one I loved. I really love them. I can see how much thought they put into making these like very interesting characters that are nuanced and 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 seem so real even like it was the same thing in the big lebowski i was thinking about like the sets and everything like the houses it, they look lived in they look like they shot them in real houses that people live in and not like not sets there's a realness to it mvp were absolutely giving it to marge she was awesome what a cool character there was a full opening and before we even introduced marge but she was so so awesome. Also would love to see some more of her movies. Marge, hands down, killed it. She's getting the MVP. Good for you, Marge. Loki MVP, there were a lot of really interesting characters in this, but I'm gonna give it to Jerry. I mean, he's also kind of the worst, but I'm gonna give it to Jerry because I really liked the actor in this. Has he done anything else that I should check out? I couldn't take my eyes off him. Like, I thought they were gonna catch him. I thought she was onto him. The scenes between them were so tense, him and Marge. He played that nervous guy very well. So even though he sucked all the way through and not a good guy, total sociopath, but I'm giving Loki MVP to the performance of Jerry. And the worst word we're just giving to the fact that like a bunch of innocent people got killed in this. I feel terrible for all everyone who got involved. Holy crap. But also just a shout out to the bad guys. Steve Buscemi was a great bad guy in this. Buscemi killed it in this as the bad guy. But we're just gonna give the worst word to all the innocent people that got taken down because of Jerry's stupid plan. <sighs> Jer. All right, that's the worst. Overall, I love this one. I loved it, loved it. So let me know some more Coen Brothers. We're gonna check out some more. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.